Hello Taurus and welcome to Soul Sundays. Taurus, it's a quick three card spread, three cards from the tarot for you, one romance angels card, a health card, and this week I'm choosing to pull you another romance um, angels oracle. It's not romance angels, but another romantic oracle just to give you an extra um, boost on your romantic love life this week. All right, so let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Taurus. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for their week ahead. Thank you, Spirit. Can I please have three cards? Three cards, what are the most important messages for Taurus? Taurus, what are the most important messages for Taurus this week? For their week ahead, week beginning the 26th of July, 2020. Two more, please. Top two, thank you. Okay, bang. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You know, was I talking about money with you guys next week? It's like there's this beautiful brand new beginning here, something concrete, potentially a job offer, um, money around you, Taurus. Why are you not letting it in? Um, you're blocking this. You have the card of um, death around you and the five of wands, Scorpio energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, it could be you have your defenses up or um, you're not wanting to um, take this new step. It's almost like you're, you're fearful, you're critical, you're not trusting it is what they're showing me. But you shouldn't fear it. You can trust it. You can trust this offer. All right. Uh, one card, please. Another card for their romantic energy for this week. That's the most important message for Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, my loves, let's get started. So, Ace of Pentacles with the Death card. Um, typically, this doesn't mean death, right? It talks about transformation. You have beginning something brand new right there, but you're hesitant to take it. Now, this could manifest in many ways. Obviously, it's a general reading. This could talk about love, a brand new beginning in love, someone wanting to, to commit to you and offer you something full time but I don't think you're quite into the person. <laughs> it's like, you're like, yeah, that's nice, but um, you don't drink alcohol and I like to have a, a glass on the weekend or something like that. Or um, yeah, that's nice, but you've got kids and mine are all grown and I don't want to go there. It's something like that. And if it's not romantic in nature, I see this being a beautiful new opportunity in what it is that you create in the world. Not necessarily your job per se, but what else do you do? What's your hobby? Um, I'm getting fishing for some of you. So for the, the guys that watch the channel, I'm getting fishing coming up. Um, maybe a mate's been wanting to go out with you for some time and, you know, go fish. I think that's really healthy that you should do that. Um, whatever your hobby is, it's, it's telling you that there's a new opportunity around it. It could be something that could actually lead into wealth creation for you. So where you can make some money from it. Um, Maybe a mate's been saying, let's go buy a boat and we'll start doing fishing charters and, you know, help build tourism wherever you are. I don't know why I'm getting fishing, but I am. If that resonates with you, write in the comments below. Um, for some of you, it could be that um, there's a new opportunity on the table with something that you have a skill at that you do, that you're very talented with Taurus. So, um, you know, for example, this is a skill of mine. This is my gift. I read tarot, but I also have a full time day job. It's not what I do predominantly. Um, but this is my passion, right? This is my, my life purpose where I'm meant to be. So it's something like that, that you've got within you. That's, that's the universe is showing me this week, the opportunities there, if you're ready for the taking, um, you could also be fighting with a Scorpio about money. Um, this could be someone that you're romantically entwined with. Yeah. Cause <laughs> just as I flipped over the card, it says pay attention to the red flags. Maybe they're asking for a loan and you're just not feeling good about it. You're right to not feel good about it. If that's the case for you, because I feel like, um, you either won't see the money back again, or it's going to take a very long time. They're not being honest with you about whatever the loan is for. Um, organic foods. So your message for this week is really looking at what you're putting in your body. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like I got this for you uh, before. I'm having deja vu, but um, really try and see if you can buy organic where possible. Um, I know it's more expensive, but it is better for you. It's got less pesticides. And there's this, all this science about um, when you eat raw foods, the enzymes that are living on the outside of the food from the soil is fantastic for your insides. 
Um, if you haven't done any research on that, I highly recommend The Medical Medium. Go check him out on Instagram. You can Google him. He's massive in the States, also pretty big in the UK and Australia, but um, he writes um, quite well about these things. And the message for you this week is to try and look at your diet and what can you change, even if it's just one small thing, even if you're like, all right, Ali's right, um, you know, my spinach always wilters or I keep buying um, the same zucchini. I think you guys call it courgettes in the US, I'm not sure. But, you know, I keep buying it and it keeps going to waste and that's because I know it's not completely fresh. So I'm going to go to the farmer's market this weekend. Highly recommend the farmer's market. Support your local. Um, and your message, yeah, why am I not surprised? Your message, your oracle message for love this week is orphaned. Um, and it's interesting because you have the five of wands here. Definitely um, for those that are in committed couples, I see arguments. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. Um, you've got five of wands here. You've got the feeling of this is similar to the five of coins, that, that being left out in the cold, feeling like you're isolated. And you have a message here, pay attention to the red flags. For some of you, and this is a very small number of you, if someone's trying to give you a love offer and it seems too good to be true, than it is, okay? If you're getting that feeling, and this is only a small number of you, but they're telling me very clearly, if they're trying to offer you the world and it's everything so full on, and particularly I feel like this is um, for gender men specific to women, so for the Taurus women of the channel watching, um, listen to your intuition because it's telling you not to trust this person, okay? All right, I'm gonna read for you this card from the deck to close out your reading. So um, the beauty of the card orphan is, is that there's resurrection, right? So it's about taking a shift and it literally talks about uh, a sense of loss, um, you know, having a bit of a crisis. But when it comes to relationships, this is what it means. As you shift and evolve, you commit to your own growth. You long for support, but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing you what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you were drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you're in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs, so you feel left out, unable to get to that intimate place of safety and belonging. Take heart as spirit knows and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those that accept you as you are without agenda or expectation. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. So yeah that's pretty much what i was saying to you before if there's someone here that's offering it to you and it's and it's just full on um you know promising the world um and you're going oh this seems too good to be true that's because it is all right if however this ace of pentacles is coming in as a job offer or something that you can go and explore something that you can create in this world the message to you is you need to actually explore that and stop blocking it because i feel like it could be quite um, lucrative for you so it's going to play out for two ways and please just have a look at your diet see what you can change just something small even if it's just that you choose to buy yourself organic blueberries every week that will make a huge difference all right my loves i hope you found this reading helpful it was a pleasure doing it for you um, if you did please hit the like button it helps the channel more than you know and i'll be back with you next week take care